And the last thing we want to be able to do is to generate a either a PDF or a HTML of the documentation. So normally companies are kind of going towards another direction from this, but sometimes you're going to create something that's public, such as uh, an API or other things such as internal use to be able to read some uh, new code or to understand it better for a new employee. Normally we would, a company would hire someone, but because we wrote all of this Java doc, we could actually generate that document directly. And this is beneficial in two cases for the company. The first one, they don't hire, they don't need to hire some external guy to write a documentation about a code that he doesn't fully grasp. He didn't write it, so he doesn't fully grasp it. Secondly, because you wrote that, we know for a fact that this should be perfectly in tune with what the method or class does or says. To be able to do this, we're going to go on Tools. We're going to go and click on Generate Java Doc. When we generate this Java Doc, you'll notice that the default settings, and again, this is IntelliJ. If you have another IDE, it would be kind of the same thing. And this uh, little menu, we could specify what part of our project we want to create this Java doc. Normally we would create it for our class or for our package in that sense. We could specify how much access do we want to generate. So normally we don't showcase private or packages. We would showcase protected public. These are the stuff that normally would be accessible if you inherit protected or if you just utilize a class such as airplane public. But if you want to showcase all of them, or if it's an internal documentation, well, you want to get every uh, type of documentation you have. So these are some other stuff. Uh, other things that you want to list in there, such as the version, the offer, the use case, uh, you could try these out. And lastly, we got to just specify where. We don't want to include the JDK or the libraries. They're not our code. There's no sense into generating a document for code that isn't ours. So for the output directory, we're going to select this. And I created one here. Um, well, I'm just going to create another one. Let's say test two. There's nothing inside. Good. We're going to press OK. I'm going to copy this so we can bring it up in a second. So this is going to take a few seconds to generate uh, this HTML or PDF or whatever you created. And when it's done, it's going to pop up something like this. So you could see here that this is an HTML at the location that I've made. And now if we look, we could see um, these are the daily, weeklies uh, videos I made. These are the solution for the exercise. And if we go looking at the GUI one, so these are our packages. Do we have the GUI one? Is that the only one that's not in there? Or I didn't create. Yeah, look at, so the GUI is right here. And you could see that it shows us the inheritance frame here, the object, component, container, window, frame, J frame, GUI. We could see all the methods it got implemented. And we could go down. We could see, again, we left it for private. So all the fields are being listed here. There is no description because we didn't add it. So let's go to the airplane class. It'll make probably more sense. So it's clickable. Now we're at the airplane class. We could see the fields. And you can see here everything is written deprecated because I put the tag deprecated. We got the version, the offer, this big deprecated stuff. Uh, you could see that it extends object. Remember that everything extends object. So that's the root of all. Let's go down. We have our constructor, which is the default. There's nothing there. Let's go check one of them with some information. Let's go down. Ah, here we go. Start engine. So the method start engine, it throws two types of ex uh, exceptions. General description will try to start engine if turned off, blah, blah, blah. Those two types of exception being thrown and why it's being thrown. Let's go check out our increase. So it will increase altitude by altitude rate of change. And look at this one. This is a clickable button that we could click on to go see the value or the, the field itself. Let's go back. Um, anything else that 
seems interesting. No, this is pretty much it. So this type of documentation could be useful. Uh, just a remark. Normally, I don't like to generate any documentation. It depends on your company. Documentation like this is great, but at the same time, it's a bit cumbersome because you have to stop your code to come look at this HTML PDF. However, if the documentation is within your IDE, so it's loaded with the classes and so forth and so on, well, that becomes much better because then you just do control Q and you get all the information you need it, such as, I don't know, it's not a great documentation, but control Q, this is the airplane class. Much faster, much precise, and it doesn't stop the flow of my coding. I could even keep that on the right side while I keep doing something with whatever I'm utilizing. See you guys in the next video.